In Rome Remastered, a lot of people said this. Why no new units for the side factions? But if Rome Remastered added those, then people will ask, Why no new factions? And if Rome Remastered added new factions, then people would ask, Why is the map not extended? And yeah, and then people will ask, Why not add new mechanics? Then why not add this, why not add that, and by the end of the cycle, we end up with a Rome 3. On top of this, there's big disagreements between people. I want more stuff added. I want it more true to the original. I just want a graphics update. I just want better optimization. I just want them to remastered. Why bother with this? And again, and so on. At the end of the day, looking back, Rome Remastered was always going to be seen like this. And that, overall, follows a pattern with CA that just seems to be getting worse and worse. This video is not an excuse for me to try my funny voices. The point is, there was nothing this game could really do. Even if they went 100% down your ideal route, what you want, people won't be happy because others wanted something else. Therefore, I think it is best if the remaster was more in line with just being a graphical update with bug fixes and optimization fixes. I love the team at Feral that I got to speak to and think they on their end did a good job, but looking back, I think this is the right call. Even the toggles, yes, they make both parties happier, those who want the new and those who want the old, but the toggles became an unforeseeable nightmare for modders. At the end of the day, Rome Mobile Edition was extremely popular, and that was just the base game, very little added. That received loads of praise. The stuff added maybe should have been more easter egg based, like the Romano-British being playable and stuff. Imagine if that was some secret thing you had to unlock, but everything else should have been more of a graphical update. Cutting back on the additions would also justify a lower price and focus more dev time into other stuff like multiplayer. Overall, giving it a higher review score as most of what people complained about could then have ended up being removed. But this video is also about pointing out my own flaws and mistakes. I have made videos on this game before I knew it was a thing. I talked about what I wanted, and some of my ideas made it into the game. Wait, can I legally claim part ownership of sales? Hmm, just joking Z8, don't panic. <laughs> but after playing around with it and looking back, I disagree with a lot of my original opinions made over a year ago. This I have said a few times now, because it's important, but I don't think I say it enough. I'm just a fez-wearing man who has nothing better to do with his time. I have no experience in this field or serious knowledge at all. I make videos on creative ideas, and a lot of the time, people love them. But deep down, just because it sounds good on paper, does not mean it will work in practice. We have to keep this in mind. Sagas on paper are a genius idea when you really look deep into the plan, but they don't work. The point of this video comes down to this. Super games. I've talked about them before. They sound great on paper but it all depends on the execution that will decide if they are a success. A medieval trilogy sounds great on paper, but the same again, and with Medieval 2 Remastered. Hype is a normal human emotion. 
We cannot get rid of that or properly fight that. It's important to remember though that our brains try and deceive us. What we say we want and what we actually want or need are usually two very different things. It is CA's job to create something that we don't yet know we will enjoy. Medieval 2 Remastered will disappoint. Warhammer 3 will disappoint. Medieval 3 will disappoint if they are what we expect. Total War needs to change. Develop new systems and features. A complete overhaul. A new engine. Not because Warscape is bad, although let's be honest, uh, but because Warscape cannot surprise us anymore. We know roughly how the games will function. Okay, close your eyes and imagine Medieval 3, the campaign map around France. Okay, do you see it? I bet what you are seeing is a game that looks like a Tiller Total War, but maybe a load of new faction mechanics like Warhammer. Now imagine Medieval 3, but imagine if the engine took the same leap it took from Shogun 2 into Rome 2, again. You cannot imagine it, or at least are imagining many different variations of it, as everything will be overhauled. This is important for Medieval 3, you can open your eyes now, to be successful. Bring historicals back and start the new age of strategy and strong game design that we want. Then it must be done on a new engine, as only then can it truly surprise us and be something new and fresh. We knew what Rome Remastered was, as we have the original, and we were all split on what we wanted. We know what new Total Wars are going to be like, because of the engine. So going into launch, we are already building off that and expanding out down new branches, splitting ourselves. But if CA planted a new tree, then we all start again at the roots. The moment people can speculate about the next game and get it mostly right because they just understand the engine is the moment that the engine needs to go and be replaced. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree? Leave a like, but for now, until the next one, Melgon.